Which do you think is the better AI system, a large language model or a small language model? Without giving it a thought, you'd instinctively say large language models are better, but what if I told you that's not necessarily true? Microsoft just released a lightweight AI language model called Orca 2, and it would surprise you to know that it outperforms many large models. Yes, a small model with only a few billion parameters competing with, if not besting, big models with nearly a trillion parameters. Although Orca AI 2 is small, it has the complex reasoning power and natural language fluency of other gigantic models. That's a lot to take in, but it will make sense if you watch to the end of this video. Hold on to your hats as we delve into this fascinating piece of AI tech developed by Microsoft because your mind is about to get blown. Also, this is a good time to subscribe to the AI wave if you haven't yet. Before we move on, we have to address this obsession in computer science with making things smaller. If we have large models that already solve our problems, why stress about going smaller? You know how earlier generations of computers used to be very large and require big rooms with cooling systems to maintain? A few decades after, now we can fit them into our pockets. Technology is always driving towards efficiency, convenience and speed. And that's exactly what Microsoft pushed for and gracefully achieved with Orca 2. This light AI model can do anything a large language model can do if not even better. This includes answering questions, tackling multi-step problems and creating explanations. Microsoft developed a nimble model that is easy to train, install and use. Orca 2 is easy to train. It requires much less training data than a larger model and is easy to operate because it requires fewer computational resources. Its accessibility makes it a go-to AI model for small businesses and organizations looking for budget-friendly solutions. But as one will expect, shrinking the size of an AI model has unfortunate side effects on its accuracy. While developing Orca 2, Microsoft encountered challenges with keeping the model precise as the complexity of the task increases. Orca AI 2 crushes other smaller models by adopting larger models' reasoning processes. And by adopting, we mean it looks at the thought processes the larger model uses to solve problems. Microsoft took the Llama 2 large language model as its base and refined it using a machine learning technique called fine tuning to better its performance and contextual understanding. This way, they were able to actualize models with as low as 7 billion 7b and 13 billion 13b parameters that can outmuscle models with parameters nearing a trillion. Now that we've established that Orca AI learns under the wings of a large model by following its thinking pattern, the last piece of the puzzle is, how does it do that exactly? Before recently, AI algorithms have essentially been looked at as black boxes. That means people feed problems into the system and it generates output, but they never know what is going on inside. Since they don't let users in on their inner workings, the how remained a mystery. It would surprise you to know that even developers of the said AI systems used to be clueless about the reason behind the answers. AI explainability is a set of techniques that now allows us to figure out what lurks under the hood. As opposed to treating the AI model like a question and answer device, we can drill into the model and force it to show its workings. Orca AI drills into the brains of its host model and collects rich signals that contain the explanations behind its predictions and decisions. These signals are called explanation traces. This way, it forms a flourishing student-master relationship with ChatGPT. Some of the reasoning skills the small model picks up are recall then generate, step by step, recall reason generate, direct answers and others. Of all the skills we just mentioned, step by step is the most crucial to Orca AI's operation. Since smaller models can't measure up to the computing capacity of big models, they don't have the luxury of solving complex questions in one shot. Step by step reasoning allows them to break down one big answer into piecewise solutions. By doing so, Microsoft AI can take on complex tasks that require very high reasoning power. To further illustrate this stepwise problem-solving technique, here's a demonstration on the official white paper. They gave the AI input model a word problem and asked it to use a step-by-step -step approach to find the answer. And truly, Orca goes through the variables of the problem in steps and displays outstanding contextual reasoning to arrive at the correct answer. 
Now, I'm aware that all this talk of Walker AI learning from ChatGPT might inspire you to perceive it as a pocket version of ChatGPT. Thinking of Walker AI in that light puts it below other large language models. There's no way to knock down this wrong ideology than hardcore proof of its more efficient performance in comparison to other large models. As if they could read your mind, Microsoft did a benchmark test to evaluate Orca 2's performance relative to models up to 10 times bigger. They carried out 15 different benchmark tests in total in a diverse set of categories such as math problem solving, multi-step reasoning, common sense reasoning, language understanding, and more. The researchers carried out the test in zero-shot settings, and you'd be shocked beyond belief at what the results look like. Zero-shot setting is a situation whereby an AI model encounters a particular kind of problem for the first time and has not been pre-trained on how to solve it. Orca 2 showed impressive arithmetic reasoning capabilities when tested with mathematical word problems. It was evaluated using a dataset containing over 8 million brain-racking math word problems called the GSM-8K. The difficulty level of the quizzes in this library is set to a middle schooler's standard. The first version of Orca and other models several sizes bigger were evaluated with the same benchmark, and Microsoft's AI still beat the odds by coming out on top. Llama 270B, for example, has over 70 billion parameters, which means it's over 5 times bigger. Yet Orca 2 surpassed the large model by a whopping 10 points. This chart from the white paper is a summary of all the benchmark tests. Side by side, we can see the two versions of Orca 2, 7B and 13B, Llama 2 Chat, 13B and 70B, and Wizard LM, 13B and 70B, which is another small model, and Llama, which is about 5 times bigger. Orca 2 is identified as the light blue and dark blue bars under charts, and on every single chart, with each chart representing a different benchmark, those two colours come in first. The lightweight language model also crushed academic-based tests. Orca 2 proved it has a powerful reasoning ability by acing a series of standardized tests, such as general college admission tests like the SAT, law-based examinations like the LSAT, math competitions, and the National Civil Service exam. Orca 2 has some impressive capabilities like text completion. You can give the AI model an incomplete sentence or story, and it will predict the rest of the words. Microsoft was also kind enough to make Orca 2 open sourced so everyone can freely access it and integrate it into applications. Additionally, developers who spot any potential areas for improvement in the AI system can introduce tweaks. Orca 2 is a 7 billion and 13 billion parameter model that knocks a much bigger language model out of the park by leveraging ingenious machine learning techniques. These techniques allow it to imitate a large model. Benchmark tests have shown that the fact that it learns from a base model doesn't make it inferior. Rather, Orca 2 performs better than its base model on all fronts.